we found a place on the internet to buy some mushroom spawn for shiitake mushrooms. So we decided we were going to do some mushroom logs to see if we could grow our own. The instructions called for using the live wood for this. We didn't want to cut down one of our live trees, but my brother-in-law just happened to have a red maple and had some disease that needed to come down in his yard. So he was nice enough to give us some of the uh, huge logs that came from that tree. So we brought them home in the truck and we're going to move them up behind the house because the mushrooms like a very shady spot that stays damp and moist throughout the year. We didn't want too much sun to get on them, so we're going to transport these up behind the, behind the house. quickly realized that these logs were almost too heavy for the little 8 end tractor to move. Uh, the first load here we put two logs on it and it was almost too much to get it back up the hill there. I have no idea what these logs weigh but you can see how much it's squatting the rear tire on that tractor. We didn't know how far the spawn that we got was going to go, so we got plenty of logs and we ended up having quite a bit too many, but that's okay. The shiitake spawn that we found is from a company called Northspore.com and we bought this bulk bag of it. Um, they make the plugs that you can put in, but we ended up buying the, the bulk bag here and it's all loose spawn mixed with sawdust. And we're going to put it in these holes that we drilled in there. It has instructions on how to do it. Uh, we used a half inch bit. We started with a, an actual wood bit, but it was actually burning my drill up. And we went through a lot of batteries. So I went down to Harbor Freight and I bought a heavier duty drill here. And actually bought a, uh, a boring, boring uh, drill bit specifically for it. We ended up using a larger bit because of the size of the logs, but the bit ended up was a 7 8 inch bit, and we drilled multiple holes in here. The holes are supposed to be between 2 and 3 inches apart. We tried to space them evenly. So this is what the spores look like. You can see the white mycelium there that's actually starting to grow, and the rest of it's just sawdust in there. But this is actually pretty damp, and when you, you put it down in the hole, it said you want to actually pack it down in there as tightly as possible. And so what we ended up using, we found an old steel bar that we used to push this down into the hole. So I filled the holes individually, packed it down in as much as I could with my finger, and then used the steel bar to tamp it down. And then we ended up uh, refilling the hole a little bit more and tamping it down until it was completely full up to the brim. The other thing we wanted to do is cap these off so nothing gets into it. It can dig that out of there. So we ended up going down to the hardware store and I just found basically it was a pine dowel rod and the pine dowel rod was 7 8 inch as well. 
which was just, it was absolutely perfect. And so I just put it on the chop saw and I cut little biscuits out of that pine wood that were about a quarter inch thick. And then we used those quarter inch thick discs to push down on top of the spots that we had drilled out. And that was just to cap them off nicely. The other thing in the instructions that it said you're going to want to do is take a little bit of wax and melt it. And so we had some old candles and some bee beeswax and some different things laying around. And so we melted that down and just took a paintbrush and just gently covered the discs with a little bit of wax to help seal them so they didn't get uh, any contamination in there. Because you want just the mushroom spores to go in there. You don't want any other types of spores getting into the log and from what the instructions said eventually what will happen is the mycelium from the mushroom spawn will basically colonize the inside of this log and the mushrooms should start growing out of it now this is a long-term project because i believe that these mushroom logs are supposed to sit for about a year before they start producing anything so we put them under a tarp to make sure the chickens didn't start pecking at them, but we realized real soon that the chickens didn't even care about them. So we'll give you guys an update on it soon when we start seeing some mushrooms. <laughs>